In this video, I'll be showing you how to teleshoot photos with the Canon M50 in Adobe Lightroom. Oh yeah! In a previous video, I'll leave you a link up there, I demonstrated how to use Canon's EOS utility software to teleshoot with the Canon M50. Okay Ben, you just said how to teleshoot photos with Adobe Lightroom and there's a workaround so what we're gonna do is use the EOS utility from Canon and have Adobe Lightroom auto import those images. Let's get started. Okay we are here in Lightroom. This is the most current Lightroom uh, installation as of June 21st, 22nd as I'm posting this video and the Canon on 50 when you plug it into the computer trying to teleshoot with Lightroom it is freaking out. So it doesn't work. Now fear not, you Lightroom users still can use Lightroom with tethered shooting. Just you gotta work around the situation as of right now. Let's get started. Okay, now we're in the computer. I have the EOS utility software right next to the Lightroom. You can have these on different monitors, you can have these on different desktops, you can have these one of these minimized, but I wanna have these side by side for you so you can see everything in this video. Let's start with the EOS utility. In a previous video, I had demonstrated how to tether with the Canon M50 to the computer. Now we're gonna take the we're gonna take that knowledge and apply it to how to auto import into Lightroom. Let's get uh, this in the nitty gritty down in the EOS utility software. Let's make sure we have selected the folder that we want to write into. Press OK. I have this. It's an arbitrary folder. It doesn't mean anything. You can name it anything you want. But press OK. Now we're going to go to Lightroom and go to Auto Import, Auto Import Settings. Right here you can see this is your watch folder. So this is what the folder that the Adobe Lightroom is going to watch. So you're going to choose. Make sure it's selected that folder. And this is the de destination here. So I have all my photos on this computer into 2018. And I'm gonna press choose, okay? So see, pictures 2018 and the subfolder name, you have to put a subfolder name, it will complain if you don't. So I'm gonna name it uh, test from auto import. And this can be named anything. You can name it anything you want. And you can rename files, you can do all that junk right there. Press okay and start taking photos. Oh yeah, as you can see, as the oh wait, haha, -ha, I lied. One more thing, I forgot to do this. File, auto import, you gotta turn on auto import or it's not gonna import anything. Let's try again. Okay, now you can see a folder got made right here. Look at that, test from auto import. So that's the folder that I had said Lightroom, copy this too. It auto imported everything, and look at this. We have all the the photos that I just shot. Let's take one more. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, that is how to auto import photos into Lightroom and tether with the Canon 50 to Lightroom. Go on the backdoor method since the Lightroom tether feature does not work with the Canon 50. Okay guys, if you have questions, leave them down below. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and commenting. Oh yeah. Okay guys, until next time, peace out. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh wow.